Cinema 5D at NAB 2016 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Artlist, inspiring music for your films. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And Atomos. Hi, this is Sebastian from Cinema 5D and we are here at the DJI event. And DJI just uh, presented a new uh, drone, but it's not a small drone, it's actually a new big drone, the M600. So Sheldon, can you tell us a little bit about the new drone, what is it all about? Yeah, sure. The M600 is our uh, new heavy lifter and uh, it has an upgraded flight controller, the A3 flight controller, that uh, when used in its pro version um, has a one centimeter uh, position accuracy using a new GPS technology called GNSS, which combines the Russian, US and Chinese uh, GPS systems. Additionally, when used with our own X5 or X5 raw camera, the M600 can fly for 35 minutes. And finally, it's directly compatible with our new handheld gimbal, the Ronin MX. Uh, the Ronin MX uh, works on the M600. It can uh, it communicates directly with the GPS unit on board so that it can do things like maintain horizon and work as a flawless universal aerial gimbal uh, for a wide range of cameras, uh, anything from a 5D to an Aerial Alexa M. So uh, what is the difference to the original Ronin M in comparison to the Ronin MX? Mm -hmm. Well, we started with the Ronin, which was uh, for heavy cameras, uh, including up to like a Red Dragon. Then we released uh, the Ronin M last year, which was primarily for DSLRs, uh, although it could support a red, red weapon. But, but both the Ronin and Ronin M uh, did not have an internal GPS system, uh, meaning if you hook them up to an aircraft or a fast-moving vehicle, um, they would not um, calculate the G-forces uh, necessary to maintain stability, and you would lose things like horizon, and it wouldn't be uh, smooth of a shot. The Ronin MX has this built-in GPS functionality so that you can accelerate it. You can go quite fast, I mean, like 80 miles an hour, and still maintain horizon. Um, and it's great because on set, if you're shooting something complicated like a, uh, a car chase scene where you have a combination of aerials and handhelds and car mounts, you can kind of take the gimbal off of the M600, put it onto a handlebar, take it off the handlebar, put it onto a car mount, and then back, you know, it's an aerial with, you know, without wasting any time. So how exactly does it work technically? The, the, the Ronin MX has a GPS unit installed yes. and it, so it's aware of, of its movement yes, yes. and can compensate the movement. Yes, it's, it's aware of its speed, it's aware of its location in space. In order to calculate speed, you have to take your XYZ coordinates uh, at time A and uh, your XYZ coordinates at time B and calculate your speed. Um, Ronin M and the Ronin did not do that. The Ronin MX does that. Um, additionally, when used with the M600, um, it kind of cooperates with the flight controller for even more information. Um, wind, G-force, um, everything the M600 is going through as it flies is sort of funneled down into the brain of the Ronin MX, uh, creating a, a synergy, allowing for uh, super cinematic shots. Cool, very interesting. So let's talk about the Ronin, I uh, know the, the M600, right. Uh, it's uh, it's quite big. I mean, I, I personally, I've only flown the DJI Inspire 1, and uh, it's really like a uh, low budget, uh, medium budget drone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if I wanted to go big, I would need much more money. Mm -hmm. But uh, what is the price point of the M600? The M600 is selling for $4,599. And the Ronin MX, I believe, is $1,599. Okay, and there is a combination package. Oh, yeah. And the combination package, is a, there's a combo package that includes the Ronin MX and the M600, and that is selling for $5,999. $5,999. So for $6,000, I have a full octocopter like this huge thing that is like one and a half meters wide and can carry a camera up to it can carry a payload up to 13.2 pounds uh, so uh, you can put a red weapon with a follow focus you know in certain lenses that you want on there um, you can put a 5d with uh, lenses that you want on there I mean really the m600 is about freedom it's about being able to use, you know, a wide range of cameras and lenses and accessories to get the look that you want, and not be, not be restricted to one camera or one system. 
Okay, thank you. That's really exciting news. Thank you for explaining everything. And uh, when will the M600 and the Ronin MX ship? Uh, very, very soon. I mean, we are officially launching as of today, uh, which means that it'll go up on the website probably in a few days. Okay, cool. Thank you.